Hey there, today is Davis again, and today we're going to be working on enemies that actually follow your player. So, we're going to be working on AI enemies. For some reason, my enemies look like apples, but yeah, they are still enemies, but we can only really collide with them, they are not moving or anything. Yeah, so we're going to actually be doing all that today. What we're going to start with is I just want to start with an advice. Um, by using this move and slide instead of move and collide because um, it, what I've noticed with move and collide um, the speeds are very weird like it, it doesn't really give us the speed that we want uh, I've actually noticed this a little bit so I just advise you use move and slide but if move and collide works out for you really nicely then good so we're going to be adding a script to our enemy here um and we're going to be doing this in five lines of code okay so you follow me i count this code like you you feel so uh, you feel so like why didn't i think of all this and actually it's really simple so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the player node so we're going to make an already var which is going to be a player um and it's going to be equal to actually i want to go to my game scene and so that you see my enemies have a parent and this parent has a parent which is the game scene um, this, which is the root node of this scene so we want to get this parent and get this parent so we're going to say get underscore parent yeah so we're going to get the present parent now which is the enemies node and we're going to get the enemies parent so we're going to take get underscore parent and again and yeah we're getting now we are on the game node so we say the get underscore node and the node we want to get is the player so here it is the player node so yeah you've seen it one line of code gone port to go so here we're going to make a var which is going to be speed and it's going to be equal to 100 so my player has a speed of 300 so i just want to leave it at 100 so i'm going to do that and now for the font underscore physics process, I won't call this a line, but anyways, we'll follow, um, we'll, count, we'll count it as well. So they have three lines gone, so we may need two more lines. And we say look at player dot global position. Yeah, so we're going to look at the player's global position. Wherever the player is at all times, it's going to always look at it. And now we want to say move and slide okay we're gonna ignore that move and collide there we're gonna say move and slide um vector 2 which is going to be a speed yep and a zero dot rotated with the present rotation so this is all we need literally this is all we need for um making the enemies follow the player um, as you can see, we just have a speed, and yeah, my player, uh, my enemy is actually an apple. I won't, I won't call this an apple, I don't really know what that is actually. So, it won't be affected with the rotation, even if it is, it won't be noticed. Um, yeah, so all we want to do is if yours is like a more sophisticated sprite, just try if it and it looks funny, just try adding a minus sign here or you uh, make this a zero make the x a zero try this uh, speed if it doesn't still work you try a minus speed for the y so yeah that's it but if that doesn't still work you go ahead and delete kudo so yeah i'm gonna leave that speed there i'm gonna hit ctrl s and i think that should be all i'm gonna f5 this just to show you how this works out and if you notice all the enemies follow the player really nicely so yeah that's it that's how to make AI enemies but if you notice if I stay still for like some seconds the enemies are going to kind of hug me or something like that so yeah that, that's not what we want if you like if you have like enemies that will shoot at you or something um, you won't like that anyways if you want to make homing missiles this is actually the best for you because it's going to move and uh, follow the player to the hit it, yeah. And maybe have a timer 
um, when it times out, like the homing missile expires, something like that. So we're going to be making an area 2D node, and we're going to be making it on the player. So we're going to say area 2D, and this is going to have a collision shape, and this collision shape is going to be a circle, which is going to be big. Like when I say big, I mean big, really big and fat. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and yeah, I think that should be it. So the player, the um, enemies are going to actually be on this area 2D, but we're not going to see them anyways. You are not going to see the area 2D node. Okay, so here we're going to make another variable anyways. Now it's more than five. Um, so yeah. Gonna make another variable which is called follow and follow is gonna be equal to true at first. And here we're going to make another node, we're gonna add a, another node to the enemy, which is also gonna be an area to the and a collision shape. So this is just so that we can detect when the player sorry, we can detect the player area node. I think we're gonna save this and yeah. Gonna go over to the area to the and um, here we will say on area entered. So if we enter the player's area, then we want to stop following the player. Okay. If you have like other things that the player can that the enemy has to collide with, like maybe the player bullets or stuff like that, you can just say if area the name is equal to. We're going to give this a special name like the player area we're gonna give it a special name like maybe um stop underscore follow yeah i think that should be good so we're going to go back to the enemy script and here we're going to say stop underscore follow um that's only if we hit the stop follow um area then we want to do whatever is inside this line of code so we say follow is equal to false so here, where you see look at position, after this, we're going to just say only if follow is allowed, then we can do this. And here again, on the enemy, this might actually confuse you a bit. On the enemy, here where you say area existed, we're going to say follow equals to true. So when we exit the player's area, sorry, we're actually going to say if again, we're going to say if this, and yeah, so if we exit, if we enter the player's area, we want to stop following the player, but if we, if we, um, sorry, but if we don't enter, yeah, so if we exited the player's area, then we want to continue following him. So I think that should be it. Um, hopefully what I said made sense. I just really hope so. But if you have any questions, you can leave it down in the comment section. So as you can see here, my player is in the middle and the enemy stop at the side there. If I keep moving, like I go to somewhere like here. And you see that all of them actually stop following me, which is really nice, okay? So they can actually stay from a distance now and shoot or something like that. Okay, yeah, that, that's it for my tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments or join my Discord, Twitter, Instagram. All the links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Um, goodbye. And also, don't forget to smash that subscribe and smash that like button. And smash that notification bell so that you always get notified when I post a video. Yeah, thank you for watching again and goodbye.